Exciting day today. We're traveling in style. This is elevator, just one important thing. My PlayStation, you need a week to see everything. From Vegas to LA, private, young people who wanna get into business, what advice do you give them? squad welcome back to another vlog it's your boy dj bliss out in vegas right now and i know i haven't had a chance to do a lot of filming and traveling what's going on and all that but as promised i'm gonna make up for it all right if i have to go double vlogs and make up for days that i haven't put out a full vlog i'll do it don't worry exciting day today it's the last day in vegas so i'm meeting a friend of mine over here you probably know him from the vlog already and we're traveling to la we're gonna be talking about a lot of interesting things and we're traveling in style so i don't have any time to waste over here you know what we say when it's time to go. We say, let's go. Alright guys, as promised, I told you that we're going to have a special guest on the vlog again. He's been on the vlog before and the video has been going up. I'm going to give you the rest of the tour with the man himself. How the tour is back. Hey, how you doing? You know, the vlog we did actually is getting so many views now. Everybody's watching it, commenting. I think they want to see more of you on the vlog. Yeah, sure. Yeah? That's why uh, we are here now. So we're here in Vegas and we're at the Aria and this is not called a room. It's not called a suite. It's called a villa, right? And Mohammed owns a lot of hotels. So I thought, you know, he would really explain more about, you know, why he's here and tell you a little bit more about the room yeah I mean every year at the same time I come to Vegas mm -hmm. Vegas they are like great and advanced in the hotel and the properties in terms of interiors technology everything so I do a visit to Vegas one reason is to meet my friends from the US mm -hmm. we meet all here and the second reason is to come to see exactly what there is in these hotels is happening in you so we can at least go back to Dubai and check our hotels and see what we are missing there then we can change or uh, make it more advanced right. just to be in the level of Vegas uh, way of treatment, the wallpaper or the floor, or services the TV, well. uh, the services, how they take care of you, the food presentation, uh, everything is amazing here. I hope that we can do something in Dubai yeah. which take the same way of treatment and hospitality that we have in Vegas. Yeah, they say that Dubai is a mixture of Vegas and other places, but what is it? Do you, would you say like the hotels in Vegas are like the epitome of hotel service and? Uh, yeah, service wise, I don't think uh, nothing like Vegas in yeah. terms of service everything like from the time you arrive in the car of the hotel bring you to the hotel the reception the check-in the butlers the service everything is great yeah all right listen let's take a quick tour of this room because i know we gotta go as well so we're currently upstairs we were downstairs we're gonna show you downstairs so how many bedrooms does this, uh, this place have this villa has three bedroom master bedroom guest bedroom and another one on the ground floor. so the bedrooms are over here upstairs here. we will not go to the bedroom because housekeeping still did not uh, <laughs> so this is elevator just for the villa here here Oh, you got your yeah, own yeah, yeah. Wow. So you can cut your hair, you wash, everything. everything. So the bedrooms are there. All right. We will walk down now. And you have a little lounge this area. Is, this is a little private uh, lounge. You know, if you want to be away from everybody, you want to come and talk, you have something, meetings, you just do it here. All right. So we're going downstairs. This is the pantry now. It's a small pantry. All right. This is the other guest bedroom. And here is the gym. Oh, wow. We even have free weights. You do a lot of workout, don't you? Yeah, I do. This is also sauna and steam. Mm -hmm. Do you work out while you're traveling as well? I do, I do. I mean, uh, maybe not in Vegas here, but when I was in San Francisco, I go every day. This is a massage room also, private. Wow. You can do everything. Facials. Facial, massage. This massage room has a private door, so you don't need to get the masseuse to pass through the villa. She or he can come back, come from the back and go directly there. More privacy. And then dining table over here. I know they got you Arabic sweets. I tried this. Enough. Very, very good. <laughs> and I saw Arabic coffee here. You have to have your traditional stuff. Yeah, my Arabic coffee, my date. I bring them from my house in Dubai here and I have my butler making my coffee, my gahwa. Bukhur. And uh, my bukhur also. Always I like to, when I wake up in the morning, I I like to put bukhur, smell it, put it in my shirt or my kandora when I'm back home. Yeah. 
So and yeah. one important thing, my PlayStation, <laughs> wherever I travel, FIFA. This is the game, but right? This is the game you lost. Yeah, yeah, What's yeah. your team on PlayStation? Real Madrid, of right. course. <laughs> so this is basically the area downstairs, living room, stairs to go up. And then of course the view, amazing as well. I'm going to show you behind the curtains in a second, but this is like floor to ceiling curtain. And I think you can control all of it. Yep. This is the MGM, Monte Carlo, Mandele, Pyramids, the Bellagio, Cosmo. So you got the Vegas uh, Caesar strip, Palace. Vegas Strip at your at your fingertip over here. Yeah. And that's the airport over there, right? Yes. You get a clear view. That's the whole airport runway over there. I don't know if you can see like uh, planes taking off. All right. Yalla. All right. It is time to go, guys. You're gonna be with us quite a bit today. So get some popcorn. It's gonna be like a movie today. Get some popcorn and just walk with us and bro with us because we're gonna have some fun. Today. All right, so what's next? You went to San Francisco first? We went uh, to Napa yeah. Valley. From Napa Valley, we came to Las Vegas here, and today we're going to Los Angeles for a few days and then back to Dubai. Out of those three, which one is your favorite? My favorite is Vegas and Los Angeles. See, this is something we have in common because I love Los Angeles, and a lot of people ask me why I love Los Angeles and not New York. I feel like Los Angeles resembles Dubai more. So when you go yeah. there, you can drive around, you can walk around. You can walk around easy, it's not so crowded. Yeah. I like New York, but I mean, I feel it like a little bit so crowded. Even walking on the roads there, like outside, you know, you feel like you have to move right and left because of traffic and right. lots of people. Yeah, I agree. I mean, also just walking in the streets of New York, you, I don't know, you got to be careful about, you know, what you have around you. It's a little bit trickier, but LA for me as well. So one thing I want to point out to you guys is that this hotel is called Aria and they have a separate entrance for whoever books the sky suites and the villa. So there's a regular entrance for the general public and then there's a different entrance over here to the side and that's where we're headed right now. I spent the three days in this hotel and still I did not see all of it. <laughs> so huge you need a week to see everything and the thing about Vegas is I think they build Vegas in a way where you don't need to go outside like you can actually stay indoors the whole time I don't know how much you can hear, but we're here and we're about to take a private jet from Vegas to LA. Private jet from Vegas to LA. All right, let's go. It's my first time on a jet. Super excited. How are you doing? What's up, guys? All right, guys, we are on the plane right now, ready to take off, going from Vegas to LA. Ooh, this is gonna be cool. Flying private? This is awesome. This is a pretty big private jet, too. Strawberry with white chocolate, cucumber, I'm not sure what's inside, and then some veggie sticks. Beautiful. So guys, I'm in the front of the plane right now. I just want, I don't know, I hope you can hear me because it's obviously loud on the plane, but it is so cool. I've told you guys about my vision board before on the vlog. So I put a whole bunch of stuff on there, a lot of it, and I put a lot of pictures. I put at least 20 pictures on my vision board, and I think 80% of them come true, and thanks to Muhammad, I was telling him, I was telling him a great story, actually, that I have a vision board, and I put a lot of pictures on my vision board. I put a picture of Will Smith, I met Will Smith, I put a picture of my, my car, the Ferrari, exactly the same one, and then one of the pictures that was on the vision board was a private jet, and today, thanks to you, you made it come true. You're welcome. Awesome. Hope you're enjoying uh, the dessert. They're gonna serve you now some Caesar salad with chicken. And it's a very short flight, it's only 40 minutes.
right, we're still up in the air. I want to give you guys some mogul talk. All right, Mohammed, I asked him a question and he's going to give you guys the answer. All right, so I have business advice for young people who want to get into business. They want to become successful quickly. They want to make money quickly. But what advice do you give them? First of all, you shouldn't expect that the things will change in a day or a night or a month or a year. You have to work hard. When I finished my school, I worked for my father, but I worked in the hotel. I worked in the kitchen. I worked as a waiter. I carry luggage as a porter. I worked my steps up. You know, I started like in the reception, then became a night manager. So I stay on duty just to attend complaints. And it took me a couple of years to do this, and then step by step I went up. But, but of course I learned a lot. I mean, I got fired twice from the company. My father fired me because I did not attend a couple of meetings and maybe didn't come on time to the office. I was treated just like a normal employee, which now I appreciate this because that time the pressure have helped me. And I think the most important thing to what you do is you have to love what you do. You know, you have to do what you like. Commitment is very important. Time is very important. As you can see, or people who knows about me, that I wake up every day before seven o'clock. It doesn't matter, even if sometime I stay late, but I still come to my office. Is it important? Like, I, I don't know if people know, like waking up early, how important is waking up early? And how important is it to make use of the time that you're awake and work hard the whole time that you're they're working? Yeah, I mean, I go to the office just after seven, before 7, before 7.30 I'm in the office, and I stay until seven o'clock in the evening. Okay. Uh, it's our own company, I'm the CEO, Vice Chairman of the Capital Group, correct? But I did this before when I was just an employee in the company. I had hundreds of directors and managers on the top of me ordering me what to do. Despite I'm the son of the chairman, but I remember my father told everybody he's just an employee. And he told also the manager director, if he do something wrong, fire him. Now, in free time, what is your favorite thing to do when you have some free time? For fun, the most important thing for me is the gym. I do six times gym. And when the weather gets better in Dubai, the only thing that I love after my work is the polo. Of course, you remember the polo video. New season's coming up. Ready for the new season of polo? The weather's getting better in Dubai. And when the weather gets better, the polo is going to turn up. All right, I think we're going to land pretty soon. So I'm going to put the camera away and we'll be back. we got more. Stay tuned. That's a big one over there. That's the one we came on. A little one over, well, a medium sized one here. But yeah, that was dope. That was my first time flying private jet. Awesome. Shout out Mohammed Habtour. He's the one who hooked it up. All right, we're just waiting for everyone to get their luggage. We're putting luggage on the car. We're heading to another dope hotel. It's a brand new hotel in LA. Trust me, you've never seen it before. And this is another awesome hotel. I think hotel reviews are my thing now. I don't know, maybe. I, I love hotels, I love flying, and I love Dubai. It's so hard for me to choose. I think Dubai, hotels, and flying. Those are gonna be the things I'm gonna be focused more on. I hope you're enjoying the vlog so far. I usually say this for the end, but if you're enjoying it, please leave a comment below and make sure you are subscribed to catch all the action that's going on over here. Don't go anywhere. Vlog's not over yet. Thank you for the ride. I'm going to put you on the vlog if you don't mind. I don't mind at all. Will you subscribe though? I'd be more than happy to. I'm going to give you the link. All right, here you go, guys. My first LA YouTube subscriber. Shout out William. All right, guys. William is going to subscribe to the vlog. My first one. First Let's one. Let's do it. First one. Let's do it. <laughs> all right, we are here. This is going to be the hotel for the next couple of days. It's a brand new hotel. It's the Waldorf Astoria. Let's go inside. I'm going to walk you through the hotel because I didn't when we were in Vegas. Let's walk together. thing going on over here. All right, this is the bedroom, bathroom, bath overlook inside the bedroom. That's the bathroom again. Bed, very nice. 
Brand new hotel. Nice. All right, guys. I think I'm going to go ahead and end the vlog over here. My battery is flashing, so I hope you've enjoyed it so far. I'm going to give you some more tour of the hotel and LA. Uh, make sure you subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you on the vlog tomorrow. B-Squad, peace. We out.